Hey, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Bill uh, coming back to you live again from the Kayfabe Cave. Uh, Bill from Godzilla Toys and Kayfabe Cave Toy Group on Facebook. Um, we do toy stuff here, man, and uh, this is going to be another opening video. Um, before I get into that, just as I was about to make this video, um, I know it's not a G.I. Joe video per se, however, uh, Nemesis Enforcer just came in and... I literally just got my hands on it 10 minutes ago, and it's glorious, it's awesome, so I'm going to flex it real quick. G.I. Joe Classified Series, Nemesis Enforcer, thing just got in my hands about 10 minutes ago. Uh, that's another video for another day. Um, that one's not going to get opened, um, unless I can get my hands on another one on the cheap somehow, but I'm fortunate enough to really just get one, and that's I'm lucky I can get those. Um, but today... This video is going to be about, we're going to be opening up um, WWE Superstars Hulk Hogan in his NWO gear and Ric Flair from Series 1 of WWE Superstars. Uh, these are one of my favorite lines of figures right now. Um, and these go back to the very first wave, Series 1. As I guess as you can see behind me now, uh, Wave 12 just came out with... Um, the Heart Foundation and Cactus Jack. Um, I've been lucky enough to get everything so far up in the top there. I've got every one of these so far, and, and they're some of my most favorite figures of all time. Um, super, super cool. Um, but we are going to roll it back to Series 1, and we're going to open these guys up today. Um, as far as wrestling goes, I mean, who's better the, to, to encapsulate wrestling or embody wrestling than the two biggest uh, names, you know, of the uh, 80s and 90s wrestling right here, man. You got Hulk Hogan, you got Ric Flair. Um, unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, we didn't get that big Hogan-Flair matchup in WWF. We did get it years later in WCW. Um, but instead in WWF, you know, when they had that opportunity back in the day, it didn't happen. Um, you know, I, I would have liked to see it, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not the guy that makes the decisions. Um, that being said, we're going to open these things up real quick. We'll start out with Ric Flair. Check him out here. Here is his um, packaging and his entrance attire. You see he comes with a microphone there, and I believe there's some other parts inside. Uh, this is Series 1 that also included uh, Bray Wyatt and Honky Tonk Man in this line, along with Hulk Hogan. So... Pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking. Here's the back if you'd like to see that. You know, old school, very um, reminiscent packaging of the old um, the old LJN stuff. You know, it really reminds me of that. So let's open them up. Okay. Let's see here. So right away he comes with here, that's him out of the packaging. He's got a couple of um, plastic bits holding him on here. And there is a bag on the back here that has uh, some extra parts and pieces. I believe it is taped on. Yes, it is. Let's get that off of there. And inside the bag, it looks like we got just some extra hands. Let me see my handy dandy tool here. Open that up real fast. And, okay, yep, it comes with extra hands and some sunglasses. So you can put Flair in the shades. I'm just going to hold on to those for now. And then let's get the microphone out. So there's the mic. And... Try to get him released here real fast. I don't open up a lot of stuff. I used to be really quick with getting these things open, but not so much anymore. Because I'm always worried about damage and stuff. So I try to be careful. Come on now. Oh, I think I just cut his foot. Oh, what are you gonna do? There we go, we got him. All right. So now I think he'll come out. What's up, Cheeto? Oh, I think we got a special appearance from the Cheeto. What's up, buddy? What you know about Ric Flair? What you know about styling and profiling, Cheeto? What are you doing? 
And now he's gonna jump up here and start knocking stuff down. What's up, Cheeto? You wanna say hi to everybody? Come here. Come here. Nope. Oh. That's one uh, downside to having a collection room. You got a cat that likes to climb on stuff. Maybe you'll see him knock crap down live and in person. Here you go. Let's see what we got. The nature boy himself in his robe. Let's take a little peek underneath here, if you know what I'm saying. He's got his red outfit on. Really, really cool figure. So we got Ric Flair. Let's give him his microphone for now. And I'll worry about all the extra hands and the sunglasses later. I'm not too worried about that right now. But, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to have uh, some open versions of these on my shelf. Everything I keep is pretty much in box. But every once in a while, um, like these figures here, they're not uh, extremely hard to find. They're not really new. I mean, and here, here in these videos, most of the time it's not going to be new stuff. It'll be some older stuff and... Uh, you know, or some stuff that I decide to open up. Um, I'm having a hard time putting the mic in his hand. It's pretty big. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Temporary. I'll keep it there for now. I got to stretch the hand out a little bit. But it's in there. And we're good. So here we go. We got Ric Flair. And I'll put all his uh, stuff in his little box here. Let's get to the Hulkster, brother. The immortal Hulk Hogan. Um, some people love him. Some people hate him. I've always been a Hulkamaniac. It just is what it is. We got Hulk Hogan in his iconic New World Order outfit. There's been a you know a couple of other Hulk Hogans that have come out from in this line. The, multiple Hulk Hogans, probably about five of them at least. Uh, but this is the first one from Series 1. So we got NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Um, as I was saying before, um, these figures are not really hard to find right now. Um, I, I keep my stuff in box. So um, from time to time, I'll come across these at the uh, like the discount stores. Like, you know, they, they seem to be popping up there quite a bit. Um, so I'll get a couple just to open up and put on my shelf back there. Um, but for the most part, like I said, uh, you know, my, my collection is pretty much all uh boxed up so here we go we got oh that's not good did not want to throw that out all right so we got nwl hoaxer just gotta fix up his shirt a little bit i'll worry about that later and he oh yep he's got things holding him in let's free him Come on, man. Oh, we just lost his bandana. I gotta go find that now. There we go. We got that one. That one. Man, they don't like to make it easy. They don't like to make it easy to get these things out of here. So here we go. We got the Hulkster. He's got a little piece of uh, plastic that's holding his... Uh, Glasses on. I think you can see that there. Um, and he comes with the NWO Championship. Let's see. Let's get that. Let's get his bandana. I'm going to leave his little sunglass chin strap on for now for display purposes. Get this piece of plastic out of here that's jammed into his arm. All right, and it looks like, okay, so he has his Hogan weight belt. So instead of putting his belt on him for now, what we'll do is he'll have it on the shoulder, brother. The massive shoulder of the Hulkster with the 24-inch pythons, dude. All right. There we go. That works. So there we have it. We got NWO Hogan. Let me get the zoom in there. Really, really nice figure. He's got the weight belt. He's got the championship. And hold on, 
a second. Let's see here. We'll put his uh, his thing there. They need to fall over. Try to stand things up, but they fall over all the time. So get him. Got it. There we go. All right, guys. So there we have it. We got Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair in their glory. All right. And that's going to do it for me, guys. Um, again, I'm Bill from Kayfabe Cave Toy Group on Facebook. Um, you can join me there. That's where I do, you know, most of my stuff. We do games and, you know, just toy stuff all the time man so if you want to follow uh follow our adventures it's me and my sons if you guys have never seen us before uh, we do toy stuff man you know i'm a i'm a grown-ass man that plays with toys and i'm cool with that um i hope you're cool with that and i hope you enjoyed the video have a great day and uh oh what happened oh it's all something happened to the phone i don't know i'm 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 no good at this i'm no technological guy i'm a grown man that plays with toys so uh thanks again for joining um like, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, check us out on Kayfabe Cave. K Ooh, I don't even know my own stuff. Kayfabe Cave Toy Group on Facebook. Um, and uh, from time to time, I'll be putting these videos out. So I hope you like it. Whoop, whoop. See you soon.